so we've had an announcement today that the next, well not the next, but the next kind of big car that Eddie Hearn has planned at the O2 is going to be happening in April, as far as I believe, and it's going to feature, the co-main event is going to be Lucas Brown versus Dave Allen and Derek Chisora against the guy called Sinad Gassi, I believe is how you pronounce it, I could be butchering that name, um, Gassi or Gassi, I believe, again, I could be butchering it. A German-based fighter who was um, fighting out of Marbella, Spain. And I thought I recognised this guy's name when I seen him first. But I'd never actually seen him fight. So I thought. It actually turns out he fought Carlos Takam. He was the guy who was knocked out in seven rounds by Takam on the Jazor White rematch undercard. That was back in December. And his previous other loss was against a heavyweight contender or prospect, you want to call him. Tom Schwartz, that was a disqualification loss. And that was in 2018 as well, actually, April 2018. So that's who Derek Chisora is going to be fighting next. And, you know, that's a kind of a yardstick, I suppose you could say, um, considering the fact that, you know, Carlos Takam fought him and it took Takam seven rounds. That was a quite a, a slow fight at the start. I remember that fight um, until it kind of sparked into life and Takam kind of found range. But I'm seeing here on Twitter now, I don't know where this quote came from. I know it's from Derek Chisora because um, it's... It's bad, I'm going to be quoting them. But I don't know what source it came from. I'm reading this off Twitter here. I'm reading off Michael Benson's Twitter page. And if you're interested in boxing or you want to get some news, I would definitely recommend looking at Michael Benson's Twitter. He's um, Him and Mike Coppinger, the two guys, are always very up to speed and very up to scratch on the latest boxing news. And they're always announcing fights, sometimes even before anyone else announced them. And it says here, I'm going to read this every year. It says, Derek Chisor on why he's not fighting Parker next. Parker bitched out he must have taken too many laxatives and you know what himself he wasn't ready for the battle he reckons he needed more time so those are the words of Derek Chisora now um, Parker did say as far as I believe that he did need more time in this um, to get ready for the fight but I've all, I think I heard some sources saying that Parker would be fighting not long after it um, now I could be wrong with that but I'm nearly sure I heard them mentioned somewhere so, you know, that's Derek Chisora on his thoughts with Joseph Parker. Um, you know, I would not be at all surprised if we saw a Carlos Takam rematch um, with Derek Chisora or if we saw the Parker fight maybe in the summer. Um, as far as I believe, Dylan White may, if he stays with Eddie Hearn, maybe out in July. I would not be at all shocked to see either Chisora uh, Takam 2 or Chisora Parker on the undercard. Um, with regards to the opponent, you might see Dylan White with... Like, if he stays at Matchroom, it, it's kind of an open, you know, it's kind of an open door, really, who he could fight. You know, some would say maybe Usek. I wouldn't imagine so. I think Usek might be, might even be going down the Carlos Takam route, believe it or not, um, if the Pavekin fight doesn't go ahead. So, to me, it's kind of up in the air. Um, You know, it's a lot of kind of weird things going around in the heavyweight division with, you know, this fighter fighting this guy, this fighter fighting this guy. But... I said I'd make a quick little video on this and maybe just kind of address some of the things that are going on with it. Um, so that's who Derek Chisora is going to be fighting. This is going to be his first fight with Dave Caldwell. So it'll be interesting to kind of see how, how Dave Caldwell has changed Chisora, if, it, if indeed he's changed him at all. You know, Chisora is getting on um, a bit in age. You know, he's coming to the tail end of his career. Can Dave Caldwell really change that much with Derek Chisora? I don't really know, but it'd be interesting to find out. It'd be interesting to see kind of what he's doing um, or how he looks in this fight because he is coming back after a pretty bad knockout at the hands of Dylan White, in a fight that he was winning, believe it or not. Um, you know, it was a fight that he was very close to. He could have easily won. I mean, the, the point deductions into account, you know, you would have had Jazora, I think, ahead on two cards at the end time he was knocked out. So, you know, it'll be interesting to see where Derek Jazora goes with this and how he looks and his comeback. But um, it's an interesting card. We have you know, Connor Ben and we've Josh Kelly on this bill. Joe Cordina and, uh, of course, we have uh, Dylan, or, not Dylan White, Lucas Brown and Dave Allen. Um. That's an, I think Dave Allen should win that fight, personally. But, yeah, those are my thoughts on this. Leave your thoughts down below. Um, who would you like to see Derek Chisora in with next? Do you think Dave Allen versus Lucas Brown will be a good fight? I think it will. I think uh, Dave Allen should win that fight, realistically speaking. Um, so leave your thoughts down below. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And as always, I will talk to you after.